Hello everybody, I'm Dr. John Kudrowski. I'm a professional ski mountaineer, mountain guide. I'm an author and a keynote speaker as well, and I've been up on Everest four times. Now I'm gonna give you the four main things to consider when you're climbing Everest, and the first thing is travel. So when you're traveling over to climb Mount Everest, travel is about $2,000. You'll arrive in Kathmandu, and then if you're climbing the south side, you take a plane to Lukla and start trekking. If you're climbing the north side, you take a plane to Lhasa, and you drive to base camp. Next is room and board. And for Mount Everest, there's a lot of little pieces to this. There's the trekking in to base camp. You can stay at really nice lodges and tea houses. Some of these expeditions have big dome tents with pool tables and ping pong tables and even a bar. Then you got to think about uh, going up the mountain as well. And we have dining tents and cook tents in one of our camps called Advanced Base Camp. And then you also will be staying in a tent in the different camps. So there's a lot of lodging options. And this option costs you about $8,000. Now, what about the gear to climb Mount Everest? Because you're obviously not gonna go up there in this. So the essential gear you're gonna need to climb Mount Everest includes bottle of oxygen, crampons to go on your boots, an ice axe, of course, and a big down suit to withstand the 30 or 40 below temperatures. Now, for the most important part of climbing Mount Everest, you're gonna need a mountain guide. We'll also hire you a personal Sherpa, and those items will run you about $50,000, but they're very important. So on Everest, I've seen price ranges going from the low end, 50,000, the high end, 100,000. At the end of the day, you're gonna be dropping about 75 grand in order to climb the highest mountain in the world. Get ready to cash in your child's college fund or maybe even mortgage your house. I'll see you on the summit.